Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to use drag controls in 3JS to drag and drop objects around and use the mouse over effect. Before you can create a new instance of the drag controls you need to create three things. Objects. Objects is an array of objects you want the user to interact with. My objects array is right here. It has cube 1, cube 2, and cube 3. These are cubes that I've built up here and defined. And I also have a plane, but I don't want the user to interact with that, so I'm not putting plane 1 into that array. I don't want the user to be able to move that around, so I'm just passing in cube 1 and cube 2 and cube 3 into this objects array and feeding that array into the drag controls. You also need to create the camera before you create a new drag and controls, and you have to pass in the render.dom element. So you have to create the render before you create the new drag controls. After you've created a new instance of the drag controls, it becomes active. So you can drag and drop objects on the screen. By default, the enabled property is set to true. But if you change the enabled property to false, your mouse icon does not change. You cannot interact with these objects. Another way to control drag controls is to use the deactivate and activate methods. So if I enable the controls by setting the enabled property to true, and I use the deactivate method, the mouse icon doesn't change and you cannot interact with these objects. But if I deactivate and then activate the drag controls, then everything is working. Here we're using event listeners to listen if the mouse is hovering over a 3D object and when the mouse has left the 3D object. Whatever you call these drag controls as in your object, so dcontrols.addEventListener, hover on. When the event hover on happens, this function will run. And it will give you the event with the object and all its properties. So by console logging the event.object, it will give you the properties of the object it has detected. And you can change all of these on your mouse hover on or drag and drop. So on my hover on, what's happening? The object that is detected in this hover on event, I'm changing its material the property of that material I'm changing is the wireframe. I'm setting it to true, and when the mouse is hovering off of it, then the wireframe is returning back to false because it's false by default. And that gives it this hover on, hover off effect. But you can use other properties to give a different effect. So now the mouse hover on effect is multiplying the Y scale of the object by two, and when it leaves the object, it is returning the scale back to its normal size by dividing it by two, and it looks like this. Okay, so that's mouse hover on and hover off. Okay, so now for drag and drop, we're gonna listen to the events drag start and drag end. So when the dragging starts, I am going to change the opacity of the objects. So to make sure that you can change the opacity, you have to change the transparent property to true, because by default, it's false. You can change the opacity to zero and it will still be visible because if the default is false, you cannot change the transparency. So here, when the mouse, when I'm starting to drag, I'm changing the transparent property to true, and I'm changing the opacity to half. And when the drag ends, so after I've dragged and dropped it, the opacity will return to its original value of one. And that's how we can use drag controls in 3JS 